Hi everyone, Mr. Gibson here, and Mr. Tierney, Mr. Sweek, and myself wanted to put together this little screencast uh, to help you guys out in your performance task. Uh, all of us have asked you uh, throughout the year to uh, annotate documents, uh, primary or secondary in class, typically by giving you a copy of the document and then you using highlighters, pens, pencils to complete that annotation. Well, in this case, with our prohibition performance task, we're going to ask you to annotate these documents, except we're going to ask you to annotate them using Google Docs. Uh, now, I know this may be review for many of you, but for those of you who need a little brushing up on how this works in Google Docs, hopefully, hopefully you'll find this helpful. Um, so the first uh, very common thing that anyone does when they're annotating a document is highlight. So uh, let's just assume that I've read the first two paragraphs of document one, which you guys are going to read here shortly. And let's say this is something that I'm thinking is not only essential to uh, the document, but also something that I might use uh, in any writing that I do from this point. So the sentence I'm going to focus on is at the end of the second paragraph where it says, by the time America entered World War I in 1917, 26 states had voted themselves dry. Highlighting the sentence is very simple. I just move my cursor uh, right next to the first word, click, hold, and drag, and I've begun uh, the process of highlighting the sentence. Now the sentence is highlighted, but it's not a different color. To change it into a different color so that way it stands out so I know where to find it when I come back to this document, I come up here to the toolbar and click on the icon that's labeled text color. Uh, usually if you put your mouse over any of these uh, icons they'll tell you what the descriptor is. So I click on that and then I want it to be highlighted. I don't want to change the color of the text. So I click on highlight and you'll know that it's clicked on highlight because now the word highlight is grayed out. And I select yellow because that stands out. And there you go. I've highlighted a sentence that I can come back to later in the performance task. Uh, another very uh, popular uh, thing that all students do, and teachers, whenever they annotate a document, is they write themselves little notes in the margins, like it's something they want to come back to, maybe it's something they have a question on, etc. So you can do that in Google Docs too. Let's say I want to come back to this phrase, the progressive movement. So all I do is highlight it. And then I come up here to the top right and click on where it says comments. Now we're not going to worry about notifications for this particular performance task. Instead, we're going to come over here to this option here, comment. And I'm going to add a comment here. So I click on it and I'm going to type myself a note. Come back to this later and simply click comment. And there you go. And you can do this throughout your entire document. You can even write comments on things that you've already highlighted. Uh, so this is something that's going to be very helpful as you annotate these documents on Google Docs. All right, so the last thing we're going to cover uh, in this video is going to be using the dictionary tool on Google Docs. It's very simple. Uh, you come across a word that you need some clarification on. In this case, I'm going to use the word ratified. And you can either highlight it like so, just like you did before, or a quick way is just by double clicking on it. And then from here, you're going to right click on uh, the highlighted word. Now, for those of you that are in the K or the G lab, uh, this is simply going to be done by right clicking on your mouse. If you are using Chromebooks for the performance task, there should be a right click option on your mouse pad. If there is not, you can hold down the option or the command key and then click and it will give you the following menu. Now what I'd like to do is obviously define the word ratified. So I scroll down here to where it says define, click on it. And then what pops up over here on the right is a definition of the word. So hopefully that'll help me and give me some clarification as, in terms of what the word means. There are also some helpful synonyms provided. So other words that I might be very familiar with the definition that might help my understanding of the word ratified in this sense. And then when I want to get rid of this uh, function, I just come up here and close it out. And uh, so we hope that you find these tools helpful as you complete your performance task over the next couple days. Good luck to all of you, and may the force be with you all.